Hi everyone, I'm Mike McDaniel, President and General Manager of Coast Mountain Bus Company. Every day we put service on the road to meet the needs of our customers. Nearly 6,000 employees support this great machine we call Coast Mountain Bus Company and they're always working for you. 24-7, 365 days a year, their hard work and dedication impresses me every day. But in 2020, the pandemic put everyone to the test. And of course, they gave it their all in 2020. They showed up, they stepped up, and they were there for our customers. When people were told to stay home, CNBC employees were out on the road, in our garages and in our facilities, while a small number worked behind the scenes remotely. Despite these challenging times, they not only did their job to the fullest extent, they went above and beyond. I'm proud of all of our employees, from Access Transit and Depot Operations to Finance, Fairbox, Maintenance, and everyone in between. And today we'll speak with one extraordinary example, Transit Operator Frank Sai, and we'll be joined by Manager of Transit Communications, Susie Hundle. Against the backdrop of the pandemic, our transit operator's jobs are more difficult than ever. But one morning, driving Route 408 in Richmond, Frank rose above the challenges of the day-to-day, -day, and he saved a person's life. Frank, tell us uh, a little bit about what happened on that, on that day. When I passed the number four row, I saw a person facing down lying on the ground. So I pulled over and stopped the bus. I walked back, and uh, I yelled into the person, I no response. I called the uh, 911 right away. And then when one asked me to roll over the person, and uh, so I put my gloves, turned to my earphone system, and uh, I keep rolling, shaking the person, as, but I tell the night woman no, no response. And meanwhile, a uh, fire truck arriving. So I told the 911 I will handle the, everything to the fire truck tours. We're in a pandemic. How did you feel approaching that person? I only feel like uh, there's a the person there. But after the man woman asked me to roll over the person, yes, I realized. It's like good thing the person with the mask and I'm with the mask, so actually I'm not really worried too much. And because we need to give somebody help. So Susie, you had two of our transit supervisors uh, attend. What was their impression of and being there to help? Uh, the two transit supervisors are Beth Gill and Blake Webb. As unique as this may seem to some, transit supervisors do this day in and day out. And both Jeff and Blake were very happy, just as Frank was, as soon as the mail started to breathe. And that was a relief for everyone. Every day, um, we deliver so many trips. And there's things that happen mm -hmm. on the road, and people need our help, extraordinary help as well. Mm -hmm. and it's great that our operators like Frank are there and our supervisors are there to come in and, and help out uh, in those situations. And they do such a great job. 